So now let's talk about the tripod that's available with the AM5. This is an optional accessory. Uh, the reason it's optional is you may already have a tripod yourself or want something much sturdier and we'll talk about that in a second. So the uh, legs are carbon fiber. They are two stage, 40 millimeters in diameter. And uh, the uh, um, tripod itself weighs uh, just over uh, two kilos, 2.3 kilos. Uh, it's about 500 millimeters uh, closed and will extend out to, to 800. It's got these uh, very nice two-stage legs and uh, it has these beautiful knurled um, locks on there. You'll be able to uh, do those up with uh, a pair of, uh, of gloves quite easy. Uh, one of the interesting things about how the, um, the AM5 mounts to this is uh, there is a little adapter in the end. There's a little clamp on the side here and there's this little adapter that comes with the kit. Uh, there is uh, three M6 bolts here that bolts to the bottom uh, of the mount uh, and then uh, there is a little screw uh, here which basically uh, screws into the bottom of this plate. Uh, there is a lock nut and if I can find it, yep, there is a little little uh, Y spacer, uh, which basically pulls the uh, mount legs up and uh, gives us a little bit of, uh, bit more stability. So uh, you can release this quite easily in the field, just undo the lock nut, undo the threaded bar, and then you can actually undo the clamp and, uh, and lift the, uh, the AM5 out. Now there is a, uh, an additional uh, pier extension on the way, don't actually have that to show you right now. As soon as we got one in uh, from ZWO, I uh, We'll set it up and show you how that uh, how that works. And uh, the payload of this uh, tripod is a massive 50 kilos. Now I know TJ's already had his uh, Celestron uh, uh, 9.25 um, SCT on this. Um, he was a little worried uh, about uh, about it tipping over. I think that's more about us being quite unfamiliar with these kind of mounts. Remember, there is no counterweight bar on this, up to 13 kilos, and the counterweight bar will take you up to 20. Uh, the tripod is capable of carrying 50 kilos. Uh, personally, I think TJ went the right way. He's used an AVX mount and actually mounted that. It's got two inch legs on it. He's gone that way. This is a perfect tripod for in the field, and uh, I thoroughly recommend that. It's, re it's really lightweight. This can fit the backpack uh, or uh, in the boot of the car. So that's that's uh, the tripod. I'm going to mount this up now and actually show you how this mounts. So uh, now we're going to have a look at actually setting up the AM5 in the field. And what's great about the AM5 is uh, the tripod for the uh, for the head um, really is designed for uh, for quick setup. So you remember the clamp on the top here. So literally, we spread the legs out. You could uh, put the uh, uh, put the two legs out to gain some height uh, to mount the uh, AM5. Uh, you leave this connected, uh, so it's actually on here with uh, three M6 bolts, and uh, then you can take this pin, uh, which is actually uh, used to uh, tension the uh, spreader. So this screws into here, and then you simply drop. Oh, not literally, but drop this into the uh, hole in the tripod and do up the clamp. That's actually pretty solid already. And then all you need to do now is take the spreader plate, put that into place underneath, take the tension knob and voila, done. That's it. That's as, whoop, <laughs> that's as quick as it needs to be uh, and easy as it is. Uh, it uh, literally take uh, a couple of minutes in the field uh, to set up and uh, nice and simple and easy. So when you're at the end of the evening and done everything that you want to do, you can just undo the lock knob take off the spreader plate. Now at this point, I don't uh, take the pin out because I don't really want to have to mess around. You could take the pin out if you wanted to, uh, but uh, it's quite easy just to undo the clamp and lift it out. And then when you've got it in your arms, then you can safely uh, just take the pin away. Uh, if you wanted, I guess you could leave that on. I would just be a little bit worried about breaking the, uh, the thread off of that, even though it's quite, uh, it's probably steel, uh, 
wouldn't like to catch it and bend it. And that is it. That's is really, really easy. Uh, the tripod uh, setup is literally just a cu couple of minutes. Uh, it's a great little tripod, very lightweight, uh, very sturdy, and uh, certainly uh, great for throwing into the trunk of the car. And uh, with the battery, uh, setting this up in just uh, a couple of minutes, uh, getting the ASI air connected, and uh, you'd be away imaging really quick. Nice.